Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 16. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. All right, so we're now going to be taking part in the Porsche 914-6 challenge. This requires us to take a... Porsche 914-6 uh, and these are basically this is part of the as you can see here the factory spec races so they've got to be stock uh, we're going to start off with Maple Valley Raceway moving on to Silverstone and then finish it off in Magello. I am very disappointed that I'm starting sixth I will admit but it's time to take my uh, horrible brown orange Porsche and shove it up your ass. No. We've got to try and race this. Right with me working out. Bloody hell. This thing isn't even hitting 100 miles an hour. And they've given us eight laps around here. Man, that is, that is cruelty. This is now all down to driver skill. But, the thing I like about this is there's no upgrades allowed, but there is... A restriction to it. Everyone is equal at this point. The other game, right, would give the AI such overpowered... Vi I'm so glad they fixed it after that first game because the first game is... Oh, the first game's a bitch. I'll be perfectly honest. Play hard, keep partying like it's your job. We work hard, play hard, keep partying like it's your job, eh? Oh, God. Not too bad, actually. Hang on, is that a VW logo on the back of this thing? I don't know why, that looks like a VW logo on the back of this Porsche. We're going to have to check that. I'll check it in photo mode when we're taking a picture of this thing. Nearly screwed that corner up big time. The only problem with this is, um, if we mess up, there's going to be a dramatic change in positions to the point that we may not get our time back. Mm 
See how close we can get to the wall. Don't want to hit it though. Look at that lonely little house on there. I've never noticed that before until now. <laughs> this is a lonely little house on a in the distance. I really don't... I know that they advertised that Forza Motorsport 7 was coming out um, next spring. But I think they've only said next spring so that they can delay the game again. And have it come out in November, end of next year. Because that makes the most sense. Because then the year after that, they'd end up releasing... Horizon 6. King, I had a golden throne. No. Not bad. I think the only reason they want... They obviously wanted to show off the game. But they had also made a promise to everyone that everything shown would be within the next... 12 months but they did put a clause saying that some games could get delayed so i think that's why they showed it but they know internally that it's gonna get delayed it's guaranteed and i mean there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with them delaying the game as long as the game comes out good but for five years of development what would actually end up being six years because 2017 if it comes out in 2023 that's five and a half six years depend on if they do release it on the date that they've said or if they delay it to the end of the year six years it's gonna have to be one hell of a game it's gonna have to be like falls the most but four level of good that's quite easy to do as long as they had the features that falls the most but four had shouldn't be too hard they already know how they made that game, so... Alright, here we go. Silverstone. I'm, I still... Okay, I understand Silverstone having the blue, red, and white for the logo because, you know, Union Jack flag, it's British circuit, makes sense. But, like, why is it called Silverstone? Or why does the logo look like that? It's, it's weird. Celebration. I've actually got a, um, when I went to Silverstone last, I got a key ring with the Silverstone logo on it. I've still got that. I, th I think I've had that key ring for 10, 12 years now, maybe. I've still got that key ring on my keys. It's pretty cool. Celebrate and dance with me one more time. Oh, yeah, by the way, for anyone watching on YouTube, uh, we did actually jump into photo mode and have a look on that badge. It does have a VW logo on it, which um, I knew Porsche had been owned by VW, but I didn't realize they've owned them for that long that this car would have straight up a VW badge. And it kind of surprises me that VW would go, oh, yeah, let's slap our own badge on a car with a different badge. You know. Like, just slap VW all over this and call it a VW. At that point. It's very strange. He's got me feeling so great. Celebrate and dance with me. Music's got me feeling so great. Celebrate and dance with me. I'm gonna probably need to head to that medical center there. Because <laughs> I'll probably crash the car.
Ow, I've just punched my mic. This engine gives me chills. Just the engine noises in this game are unbelievable for its time. Honestly, the engine noises of Forza was so much better than Gran Turismo ever was up until Gran Turismo 7 came out. At which point, 7 has been much better than... F it's weird. Gran Turismo just said, hold my beer. And took eight years to develop their game. And it sounds so much better than any of them. However, I will admit Horizon 5 has done a solid job to claw back at it. But I think this new motorsport game might actually just smash it out of the park for everything ever known for... Forza. It has the potential. But again, as we've seen many times before from developers, when given the potential to do something amazing with their games, they put it in the wrong place all the time and ruin the game. Like, I'm not gonna lie, although Motorsport, the Motorsport 7 trailer was beautiful, it was visually stunning, visuals mean nothing if the game isn't fun. And a lot of developers, like, developers are talented, right? And I get that games are taking longer to do, but they're taking longer because they're focusing too much on the graphics side of things, trying to make the game beautiful, and then they've got optimize and everything like that. Just make the game look semi-presentable. Like, by all means, do some tweaks here and there to make it look a bit better. But not improve the graphics so much that it takes so long to develop it. You know. It just seems counterintuitive. I do feel like Forza ha probably will have gone back to the drawing board and redone absolutely everything. Like, including the interiors, exteriors, everything to do with the cars. Just completely redone it all. But, for Forza to be successful, they're going to have to crack down on that photo mode. Because in Horizon, it's crap. In motorsport, it's crap. Like, the only time you ever really get a good photo out of Forza Motorsport or Forza Horizon is when the car's moving and the background is all blurred out. It's the only time you really get a semi-decent photo from them.
I'm bad. Do, 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 do. Seven minutes thirty. There we go. We got thirteen grand out of that. Woo! All right, this is my third attempt now. So, uh, attempt number one basically when um microphone no worky. Attempt number two went controller no worky. Now, if during this attempt, monitor go no worky, I will put my fist through monitor and PC and graphics card and everything like that. Strome make good music. He does. He actually does. I, I remember, so I, I don't know whether this is just my French teacher or whether it was French teachers all across England because I did see a TikTok. And there was other people talking about it. But, uh... Papa Ute. That song that Stromo makes. I really don't know how to say his name. But, uh, apparently that's played a lot in, uh, schools. Across the UK. During French lessons. Kind of funny, actually. <laughs> Ute, Papa Ute. Pupe, Papa Ute. Papa Ute. Such a tune. I think it means like Father, where are you, or something. I'm gonna try to while we're on the straight. Add that song to. Up next. Ah, play next. I think we're good. I think I did it in time. There we go. <laughs> I genuinely have no clue what half of these songs are, but I know the other half. And it clearly means I had a good childhood. <laughs> I got some good childhood songs on here. I used to listen to as a kid. I got some good vibes. Ah, uh, I got a Porsche up my inside. There we go, not bad. I'm gonna, for myself, I'm gonna turn the capture card down and turn Tidal up. There we go. I can listen to the music a little bit louder now. Um, okay, the microphone's still working. I need to get a new microphone, I think, because I think this one's a bit knackered. But I also don't want to get a cheaper one. I think I want to go for, like, a more expensive, or, like, a better boom arm and all that stuff, but it's expensive. So that's what my ne next Twitch payout's going towards, the new boom arm and the new mic. <laughs> yeah, I'll have a, I'll have a look at it. I'm not a great fan of all of his songs. I have listened to a couple of his newer ones. Like, just on the fly. And they weren't... Mm, they weren't great. Yeah, this one's a bit shit. We're gonna listen to that Papa Ute. Mm Mm-hmm. 
Do it to papa. Do it to papa. Yeah. Well, a lot of the time, artists have their own, like, style. So, I'm sort of a fan of that. If, a, if an artist does the same stuff over and over again... I've had this discussion before, so I hate it when artists change their style. I, I like it when they experiment with their own style. So, experiment with a different genre, but give their own twist to it. Make it their own still. Keep their style of songs. And a lot of artists can do that, but a lot of artists also just straight up change their entire style and their entire genre. I don't like that. I think then at that point, you should then identify as a different artist. Because you're not the same artist. Like Paramore, for example. They should have created a new band name, called themselves something else, and made different music. Could be the same people. Doesn't bother me. But they are a different band in my eyes at that point. Because they completely changed their genre of music. Yeah, Imagine Dragons is a bad one for that as well. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. There we go, not bad. And that is that race finished. I think I'm only going to get three videos done today. to Papa! I think that's the end of this championship as well. There you go. We got a race car as well, I think. I think it was a race car because it had a number on it. Oh, okay. I like that. That's quite nice, actually. Cool, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.